Hello and welcome to the third video in the bug vehicle series. Uh, you join me hurtling towards the moon at around 500 miles an hour under the slightly terrifying hand of Mac Jeb. Uh, there are some vehicles already on the moon that I threw up yesterday and they form the core of what will hopefully become a fully fledged moon base uh, in collaboration with a friend of mine. Uh, this is also the first step towards being able to construct additional vehicles and rockets on the moon itself. I'm using a flag as the uh, a flag I've placed a few hundred meters away from the other vehicles as a targeting guide. Uh, I've learned from hard experience that Mechjeb is very, very good at landing exactly on top of things if you tell it to. Uh, the current vehicle I'm landing is the Junk Bug. Uh, you can see the, the hopper there. Uh, I've previously landed a, a mining bug and refining bug, uh, so there are a few discarded parts lying around that need cleaning up. The aim of the video is to demonstrate how few extra parts the buggers need to become useful spacecrafts, as well as illustrating that even those parts we discard won't be wasted. Uh, the margins for this flight are very, very tight, and we should run out of fuel a few meters above the moon's surface and glide slowly down. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Here we go, the final approach with almost nothing left in the tank. And down we go. Look at that, perfectly landed. And now to demonstrate the recovery and recycling of the landing package which we've jettisoned off the back of the vehicle. Uh, this is the moon's gravity, so I've slowed down the, the crane actions quite a lot because the faster you swing it, the more momentum it's going to gain and with no wind resistance and low gravity, well, it's not going to stop spinning for a very long time. quite a gentle motion as you can see perfect and that means now everything we brought down with us is useful we'll just activate the recycler and all those rocket parts have been recovered.